So that then, my friends, brings us to the question of the week. And this week's question of the week is another hotel-related question, but it's about two different programs other than the ones we've been talking about today. It's not so, about Wyndham. What? It's not about Wyndham. It's not about. It's not mm. all about Wyndham, Craig. It is about. Let's see. I'm trying to pull it. I'm up. trying to remember. No, what I'm not about? trying to remember. I'm just trying to find it. There we go. I right. scrolled a little bit past it. So Chris asks, "My wife is running three marathons in October. Three. Oh yes, God. she's nuts. <laughs> That's him, not me. Okay, he says that. So, uh, so Chris says we will be spending 15 nights in hotels and spending about five thousand dollars on hotels. In wow. your in your opinion, should I get the Chase Hyatt card for the sixty thousand points and the nine X points for the said hotel costs, or the Amex Hilton Surpass card for one hundred and eighty thousand points? and the 12x points for the hotel charges. Thanks, Chris. So Chris is asking again whether to, basically they're gonna spend 15 nights and they're gonna spend $5,000 on hotels. Should they go after the Hyatt card for the 60,000 mm -hmm. point bonus, which we'll talk about, I'm reading it the way that Chris wrote it here. So the 60,000 point bonus and 9x on the hotel spend or the surpass card, 180,000 points and 12x on that five grand. What would you say? Uh, well, first, let me clarify things a little bit. The Hyatt card gives you 9x only because you're, you're, you're earning 5x base points plus 4x with the card. And it's really actually the, the Hyatt card gives you discover a status. So you'd actually be earning something like 5.13. I, I don't forget yeah, exactly. Some number, yeah. <laughs> earning yeah. some fraction more than five base points. And then, and then you get the, the four points per dollar with credit card. He didn't factor that in on the Hilton side, though. Right. Right. Um, no, exactly. And that was that was the first thing that stood out. That's why I said I'm reading it the way that Chris wrote it, because, yeah, that was the first thing that stood out at me was that you included the elite or the 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 hotel program based earnings on the Hyatt side. But if you did that on the Hilton side, if you get the surpass card, you're going to have automatic gold status, which gets you 18 points per dollar at most Hilton properties. Uh, and I say most because there are some of those brands that get you less. So it, a little bit depends on where you're staying, but let's stick with the, the majority are 18 points plus 12x using the card. So you're earning a minimum without any crazy Hilton promotion of 30 Hilton points per dollar on that 50 grand spend, not 12. So if you want to compare apples to apples, the 9x Hyatt, you got to compare that to 30x Hilton. And then you right. it's and, not really and, a 60,000 so, point offer on the, on so, the card either. So there's two, there's a couple ways of answering that uh, just from the points per dollar perspective. Um, one is to uh, realize that our reasonable redemption values for those are like exactly, um, Hilton is exactly one fourth of the value of Hyatt. So if you multiply the Hyatt nine points per dollar by four, you get 36 points per dollar. It's sort of the equivalent of 36 Hilton points per dollar. So you actually are doing better with, with Hyatt, even though it sounds like less with the number of points per dollar you're getting. Um, the other thing that the post I, I published on Friday uh, about like, you know, which hotel chains are most rewarding. I actually showed that um, Hyatt would be a more rewarding choice. So it, if it's just totally based on points per dollar, then the answer is Hyatt. If you're factoring in the value of the signup bonus, though, things get very different. So, you know, Nick wrote a, a great post about how valuable that Hilton um, surpass offer is right now. And so if you can be putting a lot of that, that, that first spend that's required to get the full signup offer actually at Hilton properties, you're going to be getting just an incredible number of points in addition to sign-up bonus. And then uh, eventually, once you hit $15,000 spend, you're going to be getting a free night, which is, you know, which can be used anywhere, any day of the week, um, unlike the, the, the Hyatt card where the free night is up to category four. And so it's, it's much more, way, way more constrained than the Hilton one. So <laughs> taken together, it's a little hard to say which one is better. I mean, um, I, I, I think um, if you were, if, 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 you, if you like the idea of having Hilton and having sort of the gold status where you get free breakfast everywhere, um, there's a lot to be said for, for going for that surpass card. 
I, I, I don't even think it's a hard decision. I think surpass hands down. <laughs> surpass hands down. Because the, the Hilton, excuse me, the Hyatt offer is not a 60,000 point offer. That's how a Hyatt well, in, yeah. in case are advertising. It's a 45,000 point offer. Because you're, right. you're not actually getting 60,000 bonus points. And if you don't understand exactly why, uh, there, we have a post about it. But it, you're getting just an extra point per dollar on that $15,000 spend over the one point you would ordinarily get. So it's 45,000 bonus points and 45,000. Hyatt points is worth $742.50 based on our reasonable redemption value of the 1.65 cents per point is what I think it was. And, and on the, the Hilton side, that same, actually less spend, the $10,000 spend will get you 180,000 points if you aren't targeted for the 200,000 point offer. And just that 180,000 points, not including again, what you'd earn on the spend, which we really should, but, uh, but, but without including what you earn on the spend, that's a value of $720. Now, what you have to consider here too, though, is like Greg said, your spend is going to not only earn you a bunch of points from the hotel, but it's also going to probably earn you diamond status because if you're going to be spending $5,000 on hotels at 12 points per dollar, 5,000 times the 12 points per dollar, that's the 60,000 points you need. That just your hotel stay will get you Hilton diamond status through the end of March, 2023. So you're talking lounge access in, in addition to the regular benefits. Also, when you hit 15K spend, you got the free night anywhere that Greg just talked about. So that's a great deal too. And then any other points you're earning, you know, based on 6X or 12X, the points you're earning on that spend to meet the minimum spending requirement are gonna easily put the Hilton offer out in front of the Hyatt offer, I would say. And then on top of that, there is a good chance that Hilton's going to have a good bonus point offer. So right now we're saying that, you know, if Hyatt points are worth about four times what Hilton points are worth, then the, the Hyatt spending on a Hyatt card, nine X at a hotel is probably a little bit better than earning 30 X total on Hilton, except that Hilton almost always has an opportunity to be earning 40 or 50 points per dollar. So there's a decent shot. You're going to have a chance to be earning a lot more than 30 points per dollar. You, on your you know, in, Last a year ago, I would have totally agreed with you, but in the in the past year, it feels like Hyatt has been more consistently had better promotions, and, oh, and right. so yeah, it used to be Hilton was the was the sort of promo god of the hotel chains, but we haven't seen them do much for a while, have we? I mean, I, uh, you know, I, I guess I tune them out because it's always double or triple points, right? I mean, it's a, a, like I couldn't tell you what it is right now because once you tell me double points for like the ninth quarter in a row, I'm kind of like, eh, I mean, it's always double. <laughs> forget points. about it. Kind of forget so about it, here's something interesting I thought about as you're talking about okay. the, the two, the two uh, bonuses. So you're saying it, the Hyatt one's really a 45,000 point bonus. The Hilton one is 180,000, right? Right. Um, if you if you say that Hyatt points are worth four times Hilton points, um, mm-hmm. then forty five thousand point bonus is equivalent to one hundred and eighty thousand Hilton points, right? <laughs> so even even Steven, <laughs> that's what we're saying. It's almost like they designed them that way. <laughs> <laughs> but but the difference, of course, then if if you use that metric, is that then okay? You got to figure that you're earning a minimum of three Hilton points per dollar on your spend to trigger that offer. But probably realistically, you can meet the minimum spending requirements at 6x because you could probably earn the 6x because you earn 6x on the surpass card at restaurants, at gas stations, and at grocery stores. So pretty darn easy to hit the $10,000 spend with those bonus categories. And so now once you factored in the points earned from the minimum spend requirement, you're probably going to come out comfortably ahead with the Hilton offer in my opinion. I, I think it'll be close, but I, I think your points about elite status are really where it's at. The, uh, with with the Hilton side, you might have around, you might end up with, I think, around the same value in points. Uh, you end up with a much better free night certificate. You end up with much better elite perks. Um, that's that's my take on it. So all right, there you go. So there, you, hopefully, you figured it out now that you've listened to all of that, Chris. And good luck to your wife. My goodness, I've run two marathons in my life, and they certainly were not in the same month or the same year. They were barely in the same decade. So three in the same month. I mean, hats off. 
to your wife. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that's amazing. <laughs> Good, <laughs> Good right. job to her in advance. That's right. All right, my friends, if you enjoyed what we've been talking about today, you want to get on our email list, you want to go to frequentmiler.com slash subscribe. Again, that's frequentmiler.com slash subscribe. Join our email list. Follow us on Facebook. Join the Frequent Miler Insiders on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, ding the notification bell, do the same kind of thing in your podcast platforms, leave us a review or a like or et cetera, et cetera. Thank you very much for being here with us today and we will see you guys again next week. Well said. Thanks. Bye everybody. Bye-bye.